Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Maple Hut. Today we have a tutorial, a Photoshop tutorial, showing you guys how to create a transparent PNG image out of whatever image that you would like. So you're going to go ahead and go to Open, File, Open, um, and grab the image that you would like to create the PNG for, in this case being this one. <coughs> so uh, we're going to be going for Orion's Lance right here. You can see him peeking out a little bit on the side there. So what you want to go ahead and do initially is double click on this lock icon right here and it's going to bring up this window. You can name this layer whatever you want, but in my case I don't really care so I'm going to hit OK. Now that we've created that, it's basically made it so where we can delete everything on the outside of the image that we actually want. So now, how do we actually get to deleting the everything outside to get to the lands? What you want to do is come over here to the magic wand tool, click on that, and before I actually use this tool I want to go into what tolerance is. Tolerance is how strong your magic tool works. So for example, right now it's on 100% and as I click in this area out here, you can see that it selects anything heavy. It selects just about everything that is blue uh, within those borders. So say if I wanted something much more fine, say we'll click tin tolerance and I'll click right here and it'll only select this white-ish part out of the blue background from the cloud. So. If you are trying to be more fine with your deleting, you want a lower tolerance, and if you want to be much further or much stronger, you want a much higher tolerance. In this case, I want a much higher tolerance because I want to delete a lot of things quicker. So I'm just going to delete a few things just around the lance. I oh, don't want to delete the actual lance. A few things around the lance just to get us started. So all right, that's good to get us started. So what I like to do now at this point, you could zoom in and actually go through and do all the specifics with the magic tool, but I found it easier to just select the selection tool and just select the large box and delete everything that is inside of that box. So let's go ahead and go around and delete everything outside of the lance that we don't want. All I'm doing here is dragging and deleting, dragging, hitting delete, drag, hit delete, drag, hit delete. All right, so now that we've got closer to the lance or the item that or a specific item that we want, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you would normally, if there's a box here, you'd right click and hit deselect. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom in and get closer, you know, uh, delete more of the stuff that we want. Let's get closer to it. Um, actually, for this part, I'll go ahead and use the magic tool. Change the tolerance down to 50. So yeah, you, get, you guys get the idea. You basically just want to use your uh, magic tool to delete everything that is not the item that you want with lower tolerance being more accurate let's go to 15 right here and actually zoom in if we can just get this little extra part out oh well you know that might be fine but let's go ahead and be accurate as possible all right so once you've got that finished uh, well mostly finished so you can see that I have a little bit oops on the outside here uh, And you know just go back to your selection tool and oh, not like that right click deselect go back to your selection tool and Make that box and delete anything that is on the outside of the item that you don't want Like those little yellow streaks right there You know just stuff like that make it look really good fine get really close Okay, so I'll say that's good now that you've done all of your deleting and your cutting, what you want to go ahead and do is go to File, Save As, oh sorry, not Save As, File, Save for Web, not Save As, Save for Web, and in this window you want to make sure your transparency is clicked. This box is checked. Uh, your image will be in here, there it is. So now that that's done, transparency is checked, I'll go ahead and hit Save, and I'll name it whatever I want, I'll go Orion's Lance. And for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and save it for on my desktop. <clears throat> so yeah, go ahead and hit save. And now that that's saved, I'll come over here to my background that I have preset just so you guys can see that the image is indeed a transparent PNG. So what you want to do is, oh, sorry about that. You want to open your finder, go to wherever you saved your uh, PNG, and go ahead and drag it in. Boom, now that's dragged in, you can free transform however you would like. That is how you create a transparent PNG. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've liked, make sure you like that like button down the bottom, smash it in, hit it subscribe. We're doing videos all the time. Hit that bell notification for notifications in your email, on your phone, all the good stuff when we drop videos. Thanks and have a good night.